Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a menu card plus billing system GUI for a restaurant using Python. Now I know that you must be expecting a lot more professional looking GUI like full of colors and image and 3D look, but that is all designing part. In this video, I'll show you the basics or the prototype of how to create a menu card plus billing system okay so i'll show you that how to create this menu card this section here and this billing system after which now let me first show you that how these things will work so let's say i have bought these items and when i click on bill the final bill is printed here now there are many possibilities to this project like you can customize this gui change the color and add some images here make this button a lot more funky and create a pdf bill with all these items inside you can all do that but that's the customizing part i'll show you the prototype of how to create the basics okay so this gui is created using kinta so as you know kinta comes pre-installed so you don't need to install that now let's quickly jump to our editor to write our code okay so now we are into our editor so our first task is to import our required library which is kinter only now let's create a window of kinter so we'll first uh, create the class instance for kinter which is tk then we'll define that what will be the geometry or the height and width of our kinter window so geometry and then we'll define the height and width let's say 700 is the height and uh, 500 is the width okay now let's create our first section which is the menu card okay now we'll be having six elements in this section five will be label and one button for our billing okay so now let's create all those labels one by one okay so we have created our first label let me take some time to explain you that what are the parameters inside first of all this label function these are the parameters inside first is the window the gui variable second is the text that this label will display third is the font it is times new roman size is 28 and this should be bold okay now you can use any font that you like you can choose any size here if you want italic you can write italic also here okay so now then we are placing our label into our GUI it will be placed at X axis at 550 and Y axis at 70 unit okay so this so just imagine your GUI as a big matrix so at the 550th unit of X axis and at the 70th unit of Y axis this label will be placed let me show you what I mean so uh, first let me close the main loop so this will be window dot main loop i'm taking time here because i'll just copy paste this label for the remaining uh, labels okay so let's save this and run this and there you can see menu is displayed at, at the far most corner okay now let's uh, add our all the labels or all the items that we want to be displayed on a menu card so i'll just copy this just a second let me copy this okay so there you can see this is how our menu card will look okay let's add all the items okay so there you can see perfectly aligned items here now now 
let's add our billing section and the heading of our or the title of our gui which was harshita dhaba okay okay so harshita dhaba is also displayed now let's create our uh, billing system okay so now let me explain you what i have done so we want one label representing the item's name and then the entry widget where we'll write the actual quantity that the user has bought so this e1 is the variable then the entry function the window is our uh, gui class variable name and then e1 this entry is placed just below this uh, label so at the x axis of 20 and at the y axis just below you know this right this is y axis and this is x axis okay so just below our label okay so now let's do this same for all our items now you don't worry because after writing this program i'll explain you each label that how they are placed at their respective place okay okay so now our menu card is created billing system is created with the label and entry widget now let's add the button and the function which will actually calculate the final bill okay okay so this is throwing an error because we haven't yet created our uh, calculate function which will ultimately uh, calculate the final bill so let's create that function so def calculate i guess this is what the name of the function was so calculate and then we'll just print nothing so that we can run our program okay so there you can see perfect this is our not that beautiful looking still perfectly working gui there you can see if we click this button nothing is happening but we know it it's going to work okay so let me first explain you that what are the parameters inside this button here okay so first of all the gui class then the text is built inside the width of the button and the function that this button will trigger then this is placed at x axis of 100 and y axis of 300 now i don't think so i have to explain you more further here okay first let me close this one okay so let's create our uh, calculate function so first of all what we need to do is we need to extract the value which is entered by the user in these entry widgets e1 e2 e3 e4 uh, okay so let me re uh, rename them so that they are not with the same name so this was b4 this is uh, sorry e4 e3 e2 e1 okay so four items four variables name okay so we want to extract the value which the user has entered in each of this entry widget okay so we are using this entry dot get function here to extract the value okay so now let's create a total variable in which the final value will be stored so this will go inside parenthesis then we want the integer value of all the uh, values extracted now if we write the type of type of this uh, value which is extracted then we'll get something now let me show you i won't just say i'll show you that what i am doing that what is happening here so we'll 
uh, check the type of T okay so we'll check the type of T now I'll comment this part out so that we won't get any error I'll comment this part out and then let's say we enter okay so last one is also samosa so there you can see this is this is of the class string and we know that we can perform mathematical operation on the class integer so we need to change the class string into class integer which can be simply done by writing int here okay so the price of aloo ka paratha is uh, i guess 30 rupees yeah 30 rupees and we'll do the same for all the values here okay so now we have uh, done the grand total so before writing this into a gui let's first print this uh, so that we can see that this is the uh, perfect answer okay so we'll write one alu ka paratha which is 30 rupees then one samosa 535 one fried rice 3570 one tea uh, so this will become 75 which is our final answer so we know that our total variable will calculate the right amount so let's write this into a kinter our kinter gui so i'll copy one of the label from here and we'll simply print uh, paste this here and instead of this text we'll write our total variable total and then we'll also change the font actually let's leave this and let's change the variable name let's this be uh, l12 and then the position is also changed let's say 100 the x axis is 100 and y axis is 360 this is some something that i have uh, experimented with you can experiment with your own values so let's save this and run this okay so this is a final output let's calculate okay 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 and there you can see 195 is your final bill now as i've done in my previous project also that i have left a bug in this project okay so the bug is if we leave any entry empty then this will raise an error okay so you have to solve this bug and comment the solution or you can mail me at i know python 14 at the rate gmail.com or you can just go on my instagram account with the same handle i know python okay so this is what i have tried something new on my projects so that the skills of a community can be improved okay so this is it for this video this was a short project to boost your project building skills so we have used just some simple concept and some simple mathematics to create somewhat a good project okay if you show this to a noob then he'll be like whoa what a great project okay <laughs> so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye